Welcome back guys. In today's video, we will be overlanding across Mozambique and Zimbabwe, taking on some challenging roads, crossing a border, experiencing some spectacular game sightings and wild camping in remote locations. <laughs> if you are new here, make sure you subscribe and join us on this crazy journey. Let's go! Our visa expires today and we have a thousand kilometer journey to the border. That's right, we're starting from the coast of Mozambique, making our way down towards the capital Maputo before heading west to the border of Zimbabwe. It's going to be a long journey. Yeah, it's time to leave. So we've spent 30 days here now. But there is something new. It's not just the two of us. We have a special guest joining us. This is Fabia, who we met in Tofu, and we're going to be spending a week or however long <laughs> traveling together. So we better hit the road. Let's go. So we're going to be entering Zimbabwe from a different port border post that we exited. So we exited from Atari into Mozambique and since then we've travelled quite far south uh, to Tofu and today we are heading towards Shai Shai to then come back up to the west to then enter at the Chikwala Kwala, I hope I'm saying that right, border post and that shuts at 6pm. So we're going to keep you guys updated on our progress and bring you along for the journey with us. So we've got about two and a half hours left to the border. It's half past 12. I think we're going to stop and make a bit of lunch before we do cross the border because everyone knows what these border crossings can be like. And uh, I think I react to situations better when I've got food in my tummy. <laughs> you want to be in the picture? You're going to dance? You want to dance? Now this is the wonderful part of overlanding, meeting local people. These young girls were fascinated by our landy and came over to take a closer look. They were a little shy at first, but soon started dancing and singing with us. We have made it to the border. And it's a small one, Harry just pointed out, which is good, which means it may be quick. A bit quieter than we were expecting, hey? Oh, no. You can. <laughs> so only about maybe 15 minutes later, and we are all stamped out. The carne stamped, very, very straightforward, quick. Um, the guys at the border actually, when we were going in, were taking a nap. So it seems to be a very quiet crossing. So now we're heading over to the Zim side and let's hope it's as quick and easy as that one was. Talk to me, babe, talk to me. So we're back in Zimbabwe. And the people are so friendly. Yeah, they are. You can really tell a difference when you come like from somewhere like Mozambique back to Zimbabwe. It's what we said when we first crossed, wasn't it? That the people in Zimbabwe were just like really quite efficient at their job and... I'm being serious. <laughs> anyway, it's getting late so we must push on and find somewhere to sleep. After crossing the border into Zimbabwe, we found ourselves at the Gonorizo National Park gate. It was getting late and we only had about an hour of daylight left to find camp. We arrived at the Mabaloata camp within the park. Flavia cooked up a delicious dinner and we all got an early night. Oh. 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 
Oh, there's another one there, oh, looking! Oh my god! Looking at you, Flavia. Hello. Yes, good. <laughs> Love it. So guys, an update. We um, Yesterday you saw us arrive in Zimbabwe, which was all fine and all good. And we actually, from that border, entered straight into Gonorizo and stayed at a campsite there. I'll put on the screen what it was and the coordinates of where it was. Um, cooked up a dinner and just had a really early night. We were all pretty knackered after two days of lots of driving. And now we have driven another six hours, so another big day of driving, to this incredible lodge which we're going to give you a proper full tour of we've just arrived and it's absolutely stunning so we're just have a waiting for some food they've set up a lunch for us so yeah being spoiled mm. is that girl mouth The Chilo Gorge Safari Lodge opened in 1992 and is one of the few lodges in the Guanarajo area, set just across the Save River from the National Park. So we've all showered and feeling a lot more presentable than we were when we arrived here. We've just been having a look around. We actually just seen some hippos and quite a few crocodiles in the water. So we've just come up to the main area here where the pool and everything is. We're gonna see what other wildlife we can see while sat by the lovely fire. Have you guys ever seen a spot nicer than this to have breakfast? How cool is that view? This is our table here and they've set up breakfast for us over here. What's for breakfast, Chloe? They've got warm scones. Oh. Scones. Scones, scones. scones. Fruit yogurt. Nice. Hopefully some scrambled eggs for me. Mm -hmm. So yesterday we headed out for an afternoon with Thomas, who is the head guide here at Chilo. He took us to this stunning waterfall and then to the Save Riverbed for sundowners by the fire. Okay. Yeah. Here we are. Here we are. Mm. Snacks and everything, eh? <laughs> no, we're different, man. Right? Oh, they're different. So, we're not going to go to the National Park. Today we are heading into the Gonorajo National Park. This park is pretty different to any park we've visited before. It's totally wild and almost feels like you're going back in time with its unspoiled and natural landscape. Impalas, you'll find the females, 
with only one meal at a time. So we need to give you guys a bit of an update because we've been a little bit quiet on uh, the camera for the last few days. Um, so as you would have seen, we were staying at the Chilo Gorge Safari Lodge, which was really, really beautiful. Feeling very grateful that we got to spend some time there. It was really lovely. We did the drive from the Chilo Gorge to Shimani Mani. And we spent last night here at the farmhouse camp spot where we actually have been before when we were last in Shimani Mani. And it's just such a lovely spot and we've all just really relaxed and enjoyed our time here and we're now packing up it's about lunch time and we're gonna head to Tessa's pool again because it is hot and we're gonna go and cool off have a swim have a picnic and then see where we end up staying tonight passion more passion more energy more energy more passion more passion more energy more energy <laughs> More passion, more energy. We've just made it to the spot where we camped last time we were here. I think we're gonna try and camp here again tonight. 
And then just down there is where we're going to head to Tessa's pool. We're going to make a quick lunch, make our way down and jump in the water. Chloe, watch out for the crocodiles. Well. How's the juice? Flavia, mm -hmm. if I told you that, I'd have to kill you. Um, mm. Without onion or garlic. <laughs> <laughs> Just to be clear. <laughs> and then um, took that aside and then chopped up five or six tomatoes. So it's tomato based. And then used the water from the boiling potato. Good morning, uh, YouTube. <laughs> Today we are making the long drive to Matari. <coughs> Matari. Possibly, yeah, I don't know what, what are we doing? Matari. So we're heading to Matari this morning. It's a drive we've done before. Uh, you will have seen that the last time we took the, the scenic route, um, which is where we snapped our coil spring. So I don't think we're going to take that route today since we're still running a standard Land Rover coil spring on the rear right hand side so the car's sitting like this um, and has been for a couple of months now so hopefully I'm going to get that fixed in Harare. Yeah. With each day that passed by, our time with Flavia was getting shorter and shorter. Flavia was due to head back to Tofu in Mozambique in a couple of days from now. We had to make sure we made it to Harare in time for her to catch her flight. We wish time would just slow down because we are loving having her with us for this stretch of the journey. Really cool. Going for a swim? I'm gonna try. What? <laughs> well, it's been a, ra a while since um, Rodney's come out, and um, we're at a lake. So. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a flick. Oh, <laughs> cheeky. <laughs> We're on the move again guys and now we're going to find a wild camp spot for the evening. How is fishing? <laughs> <laughs> it's not really ideal for fishing with a rod. Mm. 
but it's anywhere where I go fishing. Uh, I don't know. There's just no fish, is there? No. But where we're going now, we found a wild camp spot on Ioverlander and it looks like it's just on a river, so we'll see. We may have more luck later on this afternoon. Morning guys, we are on the move again. We stayed at a lovely little wild camp spot last night, which was really, really nice. We didn't film too much. We just cooked dinner and just chilled around the campfire. And this is gonna be the last journey that we do with Flavia, which is really, really sad. <laughs> it is. So all good things, as Harry said before, must come to an end. Until next time. I was gonna say, until next time. Yeah. <laughs> So our stop, next stop for the day is Harare. So let's go. We made a quick but very necessary stop to get some ice cream. It's hot out there, guys. I'm trying to spend as little money as possible on fuel in Zimbabwe because it is so expensive. Uh, and I've pushed it a bit too far. <laughs> I will try to get as little on you as possible. Right. All done? Done. How far will that get us then? 100 miles. Really? Should they? Oh, wow. Okay. Off we go again, team. Let's go. Harry's just said that um, he's heard that Harare is supposedly one of the worst cities to drive into and we're not sure why or whether that's true but we're about to find out because we're just entering into the city now. We didn't film our last day with Flavia. We just wanted to soak up the last bit of time we had with her before she flew back to Mozambique. We are so grateful we got to spend this time with you, Flavs. You are the best, the kindest, the coolest, and we know you are a friend for life. We love you loads. Thank you so much for watching guys. If you are enjoying our videos, make sure you subscribe because it really supports our channel. Give this video a like, leave us a comment and share this video with a friend. We'll see you in the next one.